uh, pound the beef, pound the football, pound the rock, get downhill, run the football. Whenever I hear those terms, I think of Ole Uda. And Ole Uda is who we're going to be talking about. Kind of a training camp superstar for the Vikings. I think he's been great. He's all beat reporters, all coaching staff has been raving about Ole Uda. And I love to hear it. What Ole Uda, if he can be a very good guard in the NFL, let's just say he's middle of the pack in the league this year. What that would do for the Vikings would it would allow Wyatt Davis to kind of not feel a pressure to start right away. It, it, it gives Wyatt Davis almost a whole season to kind of just like relax and figure out what he's going to do. And then let's just say Ole Uda just hits it running and he's one of the better guards in the NFL, which people are saying he could be. He could really transform himself into that. Then we have Wyatt Davis. We have six offensive linemen who we're, like, we're feeling comfortable about. It gives us depth. It gives us way more just versatility from the offensive linemen that we didn't really think we had going into the year. After the NFL draft, all of us Vikings fans, we kind of said, okay, so we'll probably go Derisaw, left tackle, left guard, Ezra Cleveland, center, Bradbury, right guard, Wyatt Davis, right tackle, Brian O'Neill, and we're like, that's a pretty solid group. And I agree, that is a very solid group. But if Ole Uda can just hop in for Wyatt Davis at right guard, well, he's still rehabbing and doing everything he needs to do. And then you still got guys behind the tackles, such as Rashad Hill, who is obviously not a good tackle in the league, but he's a serviceable tackle in the NFL. I think Ole Uda taking the step up just adds a ton of depth. And what I like about Uda, and what I've been trying to get the Vikings to do for the past two, three years, it seems like, is add some beef. It had some thickness. I love watching Vikings training camp when I see Ole Uda, his massive 6'6", 330-pound self, cracking down and blocking Michael Pierce, Dalvin Thomason, even guys like Armin Watts, these big guys. Because the Vikings way too many times last year, and I don't know if it's just because of number 50, Mat Matava or Matva, or however you pronounce, Hercules. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. I definitely am. But he looks so little on the field. And last year, the Vikings DNs just looked little as a group. And even with their offensive linemen, when they would be pulling their guards. Because Bradbury's not the biggest center. And you would still have these guys, the rest of the offensive linemen, just kind of look small around him. But now when you're watching them, you're like, wow, this is a big offensive line group. I think Vikings last year had the, I think they had the smallest amount, or the, the least amount of weight within their starting five offensive linemen than anybody else in the league or at least it was like bottom three they were not they did not weigh more than anybody else which caused them sometimes in some games to get pushed around but also with Ole Uda, i think vikings fans would kind of get away from we can run the living hell out of the football with dalvin cook and alexander madison i think we kind of forget about how actually good dalvin cook and madison are especially dalvin cook watching them this training camp He's faster than everybody. He, f he can finish his runs better than anybody. He just looks different than everybody on the field for the Minnesota Vikings. And now you're adding a 6'6 guard who can apparently play really well to that mix. For the Vikings, can even get downhill more and more and more. It's just set up bootleg after bootleg. It's just layers to this offense. That's the thing I love the most, is that I think we're starting to see this offense kind of build layers to it, which is what I wanted. You know, we always had the down. We can always run the ball. You know, we can go into Tampa Bay like we did last year and run the ball pretty well. It's just that another layer to it, which guys like Irv Smith, KJ Osborne, Jefferson developing, Thielen still being who he is, adding a more solid offensive line group for when it comes to bootlegs, when it comes to play action, even when it comes to dropping back and passing, we just have that split second more. We, we win a route one more time a game. You know, we gain an extra three yards because of the extra O line. And then you also just have greatness with this offense. And that's why I just can't wait for this season. Pound the beef and then be explosive. This offense can be what Tennessee was last year and even more dynamic because we have more just elusive playmakers, I feel like, than Tennessee. I feel like Dalvin Cook is more versatile than Derrick Henry. I feel like Jefferson and Thielen are more versatile receivers than A.J. Brown and Julio. They are a more physical football team. I'm not disputing that. But when it comes to offensive explosion and offensive firepower, the Vikings are right there with anybody in the league. Ole Uda, great things from you. You can really complete this offense. I'm rooting for you. Ole Uda, love you. 6'6", six, 6-round six, six pick. Shout out Rick Spielman. 
we all kind of get on rick spielman for having those late round picks this might be one of them that hits and helps us out a ton especially kj2 his fifth the seventh round picks that spielman loves we're kind of seeing them turn out to be something right in front of our eyes in their second year great great stuff coming out of vikings training camp dalvin cook video tomorrow because this man is becoming underrated is that possible i don't know thank you guys so much for watching leave a like on the video comment down below thanks so much for the support see you guys next time skull bikes